Hello, everybody. Today, I wanted to come and share with you a tech tip. So, and it might not be a tech tip. Actually, it's probably not a tech tip. It's a non-tech tip, <laughs> but in the technology realm. So I wanted to come and share with you another way of you being able to do your follow-ups without needing to go into KV Core. Now, we all love KV Core. It's a great platform. But, you know, let's be real. Not all of us are tech savvy. We're just not tech savvy. And going into KB Core and doing all this is very overwhelming. So I, it reminded me of something that I used to use back in the day, like really back in the day, right? Something called a tickler file. So I don't know if you guys know what a tickler file is, but if you don't know, I'm going to share with you today what that is. And it was a way of me, I used to be in the dental business, of me keeping track of patients who had treatment plannings that we had to follow up on so that they, they wouldn't get lost in the system, right? If the, if the treatment plan wasn't entered in the system correctly, you know, obviously I lose them and then I never follow up with them. So I created a system that was called the Tickler File, which is an old system that we used to use. But that system worked really well because it helped me follow up and not to forget to follow up with these patients. So it's the same thing with buyers and sellers and prospects, right? We need to make sure we know that follow up is key to our real estate business. So if we're not using a CRM to follow up, we're losing prospects left and right if we are not organized and we are not creating a way of keeping track of our clients and our prospects. And if you're not using the KV Core system, which is a great system, but if you're not using it because you're just not tech savvy, this is another way that I think would be really beneficial to you. So I'm going to share it with you today. So what I went is I went and got me a little tickler file. So these are like those little three by five boxes that you can get at, um, you know, a, a office supply store. You can get them on Zoom, I mean, on Amazon or whatever, which I'll put the links below this video so you guys can link on Amazon and you'll be able to find them. But it's a little three by five box or you can get a four by six box, you know, doesn't matter. Depends on how big you want it. But it's a little box like this, right? And then you get index cards, right? The little index cards that you purchase that are just, you know, two by three or three by five index cards that go right in there, okay? So you get a little stack of, the, of these cards and you also get a the little tabs that are January through December. So you get the little tabs that are January through December and you're going to put them in the box and then you're going to put some index cards in there on the back, right? And then once you are talking to a prospect, you're gonna write their name down, their information, their email, whatever information you have on them. And then you're gonna put down your notes and what you're supposed to follow up or when you're supposed to follow up, right? And once you have that and you can just write on there and you know, you can put one card and then if you run out of space, just you know, staple another card on it. Um, but this helped me a great deal because now if I have to follow up with a prospect, right, and I don't want to put them in my KB core. <laughs> so basically what I can do is just create a little card for them with their information. And let's say, you know, I met Susan and Susan is going to, she's renting, but she's planning to buy next year in June. So we know if she's renting and she's planning to buy in June, we need to start contacting her like in January, February. So I'm going to put Susan behind my February tab. Right. So I'm going to create a little card. I'm going to put her behind my February tab. And in February, the first week in February, I'm going to pull all the cards of the prospects I need to follow up in February. And I'm going to start calling those pro prospects to follow up and write my new notes. And if they're not ready and I need to push them back a month and I just push them to March and whatever. But I'm going to have a system of following up. Right. So that way you have something in your hand that you, you know, that you can use to follow up if you're not very tech savvy because not all of us are tech savvy, right? So this is a great system. I used to use it all the time and it works. It really does work um, to help you with follow-ups if you're not techie and you like to just use old fashioned paper, you know, so instead of having a big journal and trying to figure out, okay, who do I need to follow up with this, this week? This is a perfect way for you to do that. Um, and again, just January through December, put your card in there behind that one you need to follow up. First week of, of the month, you pull out all the stack of little cards that you have on there for the people that you need to follow up and you give them a call, okay? So I hope that non-tech tip helped <laughs> and I'll see you on my next video.